The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark. When Mary of Magdala came to the tomb, she saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen clothes lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following now, came up, went right into the tomb, saw the linen cloths on the ground, and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was not with the linen cloths, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, good to see so many of you here today. Three people in today's Gospel, very important. And incidentally, Mary of Magdala, she comes from the town that is called Magdala. It's not her name. It's the place where she come from. Now, Mary of Magdala, her name is mentioned 12 times in the Gospels. Not even the name of the apostles so much, but Mary's name is mentioned 12 times. When we mention someone's name many times, what does that mean? When you call out or you call the name of the person often, which means this person is an important person. And in the gospel, she is so important, along with Peter and John, the disciple Jesus loved. Now, Peter, whom we have heard the last few days, we heard so much about Peter. If you read John's gospel, chapter 21, verses 15 to 17, the post-resurrection text of Jesus appearing first time to Jesus after his resurrection. Now, what happened before the resurrection? Jesus had told Peter, you are no more Caiaphas, no, sorry, you are no more Caiaphas, you are the, you are the rock, you are Peter, and the church will be founded on you, you are Peter. And so when, P when Jesus told Peter that, imagine you are given a very special privilege, you are given the very heightened position. And so Peter was flying high. He was high in the spirit. He was so excited. He was up there. <clears throat> so Peter was just enjoying it. Then along the way, Jesus told Peter, Peter, I am going to Jerusalem. What did Jesus say? Why did Jesus tell Peter, I am going to Jerusalem? Because I am going to suffer. Peter turned around and told Jesus, Jesus, please don't go. You're not supposed to go to Jerusalem. You will die. But afterwards, you know what happened. The same Peter who was elevated denied Jesus three times. <laughs> and the third time, his denial, he looked at Jesus. And Jesus looked at him. Imagine the countenance. Peter, the third time after saying, I don't know him, he looked at Jesus. And Jesus looked at him. Imagine. 
Peter, after looking at this Jesus from a distance, started weeping. Oh my God, why did I do this? Why did I betray? Why did I turn him down? Why did I deny him? Peter was crying. Peter was up there and now he's down there. And Jesus, seeing Peter, this is after his, after his death, before he going up to the Father, after his resurrection, he's walking down along the beach and he calls these apostles and having, what was he having with them? What was he having with them? Hello? He was having breakfast. He was having breakfast. And so, whilst at breakfast, Peter was with him. Peter was, of course, astonished. Jesus is there. And he had denied him earlier. <clears throat> now he's having breakfast with him. Now, supposedly, someone is sleeping here. One of you is sleeping here. While I'm sermonizing, or while I'm giving this homily, and afterwards, one of the, the person who is sleeping come to me and ask for blessing. What would I tell the person? What would I tell the person? Why were you sleeping, right? Naturally, I will ask, why were you sleeping now? You want blessing. <laughs> and yesterday, or rather the day before yesterday, I don't know whether the family is here. There was this girl who was standing. I went after my ma, after the mass that I celebrated. I was walking out there or rather Good Friday service. I was walking out, and there was this family standing there. All were, everyone was so reverential, but this girl was standing there, but not so much standing, but slouched there like this. She was there, not standing, but she was like there, you know? And so, and so I asked her, why are you standing like this? And she promptly told me, Father, I'm injured. My leg is hurting. And the family also told me. Wisdom only dawned in me the next day after asking this question. Because <laughs> Jesus, having seen Peter betraying, denying him three times, <coughs> now he sees him and he asks him, he didn't ask him, Naturally, you should ask, hey, Peter, you denied me, man. What the heck are you here having breakfast with me? He didn't ask him that. But you know what Jesus asked him? You know what Jesus asked him? Hello, must read your gospels, la. Huh? Do you love me? Even as I'm telling you, my hair is standing. He asked him, do you love me? And Jesus said, and Peter said, yes, Lord, I love you. And Jesus asks him a second time, Peter, do you love me? And he said, yes, Lord, I love you. And Jesus asks him a third time, Peter, do you love me? Peter fed up already, you know. Of course, Lord, you know I love you. You know all of it. Jesus turns around and tells him, feed my sheep. Dear sisters and brothers, Peter was so enticed by the power given him, the rock power, that the moment of crisis came, he ran away from Jesus, denying him. This bottle, huh? Nice or not? Nice or not? Nice, huh? Nice. nice. Huh? Hey, what, what's so nice about this bottle? Huh? Very ordinary, ma. Some more water, plain water inside. Nothing so beautiful. Huh, ordinary. You know the alcoholic bottles? Wine, whiskey, brandy, gin, vodka especially whiskey bottles, you know, how curvaceous they are. How beautiful, you know, different colors. Very nice. Some of your homes, you put it on the shelf and see. View. So uh, this man, when I went to his house, wow, so many uh, you have, huh? 
you drink all this no 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 father i don't drink they are beautiful father i keep it for show but you know so beautiful those bottles are so enticing so curvaceous anything that is curvaceous anything that is shapely be careful lah huh? can be anything at all huh? you know why because enticement allures come in different shapes and sizes in different forms in different manifestations so peter got this enticement with the power that was given him and in spite of that peter ran away from jesus and watching him from a distance dear sisters and brothers today we are people st augustine tells us you are an easter people and alleluia is a, is your song and how long how long is this going to be do you love me if i love you jesus i will do what you want me to do he asks each one of us the same question do you love me and so dear sisters and brothers we love everything and everyone else but how intense is my love for jesus over time we must increase the intensity and depth of our love for jesus only then my christian life would mean something more than just nominal ordinary catholic because you are an easter people and alleluia is your song <coughs> if alleluia is your song you must be happy people i see all happy ah huh? all your faces are you another long sermon ah huh? <laughs> or at least you are laughing thanks be to god huh? are you boring la i go to church dear sisters and brothers if you are so in the lord you need not have to worry the externals will not bring you that joy the inside of you will bubble with joy and the lord will be there reigning in you and you will give this to every other person because you are a person of joy and christ easter is nothing else but joy and so when you go back when you return home you must return with that vibrancy in you not how you have dead chicken don't know what am i doing why are we not imbibed in the lord and that's why we are not able to recognize the power and grace of god working in us and so dear sisters and brothers luke chapter 10 verse 27 tells us love your god with all your heart with all your mind with all your strength and when you do that can never be otherwise can never be otherwise you know many people come and you know on a big occasions like this a lot of people come once a year twice a year people come and the rest of the year do i live in alleluia life i don't know what life do we live and so dear sisters and brothers be happy be happy persons learn to bring this joy to your husband to your wife you know some people laugh <laughs> you got 32 teeth ma why are you not bring that joy to your husband who is so sulky mary magdalene walked out of the tomb filled with so much of joy and she said the good news are you sharing the good news or the bad news how about the wife sharing it with the husband or the husband sharing with the wife and children with your parents let us be people who are so filled with the power of the spirit and you should be different from every other person outside there otherwise your purpose and celebration of the easter today will be meaningless dear sisters and brothers congratulations that you are here but don't return home empty don't return home empty handed don't return home with an empty heart because you are filled with the power of the spirit as you receive the eucharist and much more when you live it every single day remembering him in your life because he is reason he is reason ma and look at our catholics we live you no know, some people are huh? 
can i ask you for a favor please do this little favor look at the person next to you next to you smile at the person smile at that person i don't even know the person next to me i smile smile yes good at least you know, why are you ask me to smile at this person <laughs> terrible fellow la you now if i would ask you today do you love me <laughs> love him <ma. laughs> this fellow would love him ma. i'm sure some of you love me some of you may not some of you may say father sure i love you at the back don't know la ha huh? this baga i have no choice but to say i love you since he asked me what but jesus asked peter do you love me jesus is asking you dear sisters and brothers do you love me dear sisters and brothers it is a beautiful day it's a beautiful day let me tell you you believe or not doesn't matter but i love you i truly truly love each one of you sometimes i may be annoying to you but i really love you because only one cares jesus told peter get behind me satan and jesus embraced him afterwards he said do you love me feed my sheep how powerful is god's love and so be in love with god and every other love will be in place let us pray for this grace to love him with all your might your heart your strength at least as luke's gospel tells us and he will sustain you through and you will never be bored every single day you're never alone the reason lord is with you remember the enticement is for a moment but this is forever and so let us pray for this grace to be able to look at him every single day and love him more and more amen